Well, math is very exciting once you get into it because it's all about structure and symmetry and patterns and aha moments when you see how things fit together. I've never been good with my hands, so uh, I don't do carpentry. I don't, um, um, I don't build circuits, but I, I could imagine that somebody who does carpentry would have that aha moment when everything sort of fits together into a beautifully organized structure. Uh, uh, and mathematics is like that too. Dr. Richard Manning Karp was born in 1935 in Boston, the oldest of four children. His father, a mathematics teacher, was a humble, gracious man, widely admired in the local community. As a young boy, Dr. Karp watched his father draw nearly perfect circles without using a compass. This stimulated his own interest in teaching mathematics as a career. His mother had a passion for learning. She took evening courses for years and earned a degree from Harvard at age 57. Educating her children was her top priority. She strongly influenced their development and taught them not to value money for its own sake. Dr. Karp learned to read at an early age and read avidly. He was also a great fan of the Boston Red Sox and immersed himself in baseball statistics. A quiet child, he spent much of his time in solitary pursuits like reading. His favorite classroom subjects were mathematics and Latin, and he seemed to know that his life's work would be related in some way to mathematics. Dr. Carb majored in mathematics at Harvard with a special interest in discrete mathematics and probability. He pursued applied mathematics as a graduate student. The vast potential of computers was just becoming known in those years. As a member of the early Harvard Computation Lab, he devoted himself to research in the emerging field of computer science. In 1959, Dr. Karp joined IBM as a researcher and advanced his own work there by developing many practically relevant computer algorithms. In the early 1970s, he established the theory of NP-completeness, which has had an epical influence on the subsequent development of large-scale information systems. By the 1990s, Dr. Karp had expanded his research horizons beyond the realm of information science. By focusing his computational talents on the field of molecular biology, he began contributing to the progress of medicine by elucidating the correlation between genetic structures and disease. To do creative work, Dr. Karp believes that a researcher must avoid getting preoccupied with mundane tasks and must always find time to dream. He is now developing new algorithms to support further discoveries in the life sciences. He advises young people aspiring to technical fields to believe in themselves, trust your own instincts and judgment, and enjoy the process of creation, even when progress is slow. Enjoy the company of your colleagues and be generous in sharing ideas. Dr. Karp resides in Berkeley, California. His wife, Diana, has worked as a computer systems analyst and is now a docent at the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. She is also a leader in volunteer work within the Jewish community. His son, Jeremy, is a university student. The 24th Kyoto Prize Laureate in Advanced Technology, Dr. Richard Manning Carr.